My back is in extreme pain, and in today's news, Elon Musk is joined by Binance and Sequoia Capital and Anderson Horowitz and Larry Ellison, who has put up the most amount of money, uh, apart from Elon Musk himself, uh, he put up $1 billion. No investor put more than $1 billion besides Elon Musk himself which uh, originally he was taking out a loan from J.P. Morgan Stanley Chase uh, for over $12 billion. Now it's been reduced to $6.5 billion because over seven, close to $7.5 billion was invested through uh, various venture capital firms, uh, various uh, angel investors, and big billionaire um, powerful people. Uh, well... Elon Musk's friends and just people who are looking to make a quick buck, except, you know, they're billionaires. So in this case, Binance has invested $500 million and uh, Elon Musk himself has put in well over $27.5 billion. And Chung Peng Tao, the CEO and founder of Binance, has said that he'd love to assist Musk with um, taking over Twitter. And he's getting advice and also allowing rollover shares from previous CEO and founder of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, which is a crypto enthusiast. So there's a lot of powerful people here in the takeover Twitter that either have a hand in crypto or most of their fortunes came from cryptocurrency. Pretty interesting. Also, there is the Saudi um, Arabian prince that has billions of dollars worth of shares of Twitter, uh, who is going to get rollover shares. And it looks like Qatar, the royal Qatari family, has invested in Twitter as well. And that's kind of interesting because now with Musk's takeover, it's supposed to be free speech. But you know, we're not going to get into politics. Um, what is interesting is if Musk does take it over and there is a complete change of policy and some people leave, I think that cryptocurrency is going to have a solid foundation in Twitter and it already has a pretty good foundation in YouTube. I think there's going to be a larger foundation for Facebook and for other social media platforms. And that's a great thing for us. At the end of the day, Binance has definitely put a hefty amount of capital into a $44 billion takeover by Elon Musk, most of which is being financed by him. You know, Sequoia Capital, $800 million, another fund, $700 million. For Binance, a exchange, cryptocurrency, they have nothing to do with, oh, Twitter, social media platforms. For them to put up $500 million, that says three things. They have a lot of capital. They are ready to diversify some of their funds to hopefully uh, reduce risk regarding crypto. They have a pretty strong stake in crypto. And now putting $500 million into a social media platform, they're going to be able to start building up just not only to have cryptocurrency investments, but outside of crypto, which I think is a pretty smart move. And then the third thing is they understand that if they have a small controlling piece of Twitter, they might be able to inspire other crypto companies to also do the same to other social media platforms. And this means at the end of the day, crypto is going more mainstream. There are no longer going to be many roadblocks to advertising crypto. There are no longer going to be people getting banned who are promoting crypto. And this is huge. This is what I think Binance and Anderson Horowitz and some of these other guys are going. Sure, they like money, but they want power over the news. And now with free speech, they're going to be able to say anything they want about crypto. We're going mainstream. And more than we were. So thanks for watching today. Pretty exciting news. Bye.